This is the N2 North and Southbound. literally driving through a river and maybe oh shit. that was a wave Medics who responded to call outs this week say they've had to deal with extremely challenging situations the R24's Werner for Mark this was far worse than what I've dealt with before, especially with the amount of calls that came in. We had to pull resources from as far as Peter Maritzburg and some of our northern KZN branches to come and assist. A lot of members of the public did not think twice to start helping other people. It's our vehicle, it's our vehicle that's rolled. Condolences are pouring in for a local medic who'd been making his way to help storm victims when his ambulance overturned on a flooded road. East Coasters have sent messages of support to Vicky Govender's family and loved ones on social media. He died in hospital yesterday. Govender and fellow medic Tracy Bedison had been heading to an accident scene on the N2 on Tuesday. One social media user called Govender a true hero, while another suggested he be honoured by government. It's very difficult for me. I don't know how long it's going to take me. My heart's so sore because when I left him at theatre, he told me I must wait for him. He's coming just now. It's, it's just a muscle spasm thing he got. And he loves me. I love you. Wait for me. I'll come just now. Not realizing that Vic is not going to come back to talk to me or be there for me anymore. He was 55, but I think he had a heart of a 21-year-old on some days. I mean, that was Vicky. I mean, he, he could keep going longer than most of us could. Very, very active. I mean, if he could, if he had sleep, it would be amazing to find out if he actually did sleep. Um, he was very involved in the community. Uh, he was part of the school governing body. Uh, very much involved in his uh, daughter's careers, uh, watching his son grow up. Um, all those kind of things and, and just whatever the community needed he was there um, making sure that they were sorted out and making sure that they were okay. His love of his life was Nancy and you know watching her through this whole process has been a very difficult time as well. Everybody knew almost the ER 24. I mean, if ever you saw him, he's got something on with the ER 24 in it. Always smiling, always full of jokes. And there's two things I know about Vicky. If you work with Vicky, you don't go home in a bad mood. You could have the worst day ever. But if you're with Vicky, you just go home smiling, thinking about what he said, what he did the whole day. And you don't go home hungry. You have to eat when you're with Vicky. <laughs> That's how he was. Vicky loved everything about his job. He loved saving lives. He loved helping people. 
There was nothing that... Without the definition. Uh, yeah, of ER24. He loved ER24. He loved his uniform. He loved his van. Anyone called any time, any part of the day, night, anything. Vicky was never tired to help people, uh, to rescue people or help people, or to save lives. Did they really call him the ER24 man? Yes, yes. And we, even if another ER24 van goes, the first, in Mia Benko, anyway, the first thing they ask, do you know Vicky? Do you know Vicky from ER24? It's he like, was like the ambassador of, of ER24. <laughs> He never thought about his own life. He, every day without fail. I mean, we all got that passion to save lives, mm -hmm. but he went above and beyond. He, he just literally went out of his way to do things for people. And the crowd that was at his funeral was simply something I haven't seen. Now sitting back and looking, I think we feel like so proud being his children and so proud of my dad for what he did. He did pay the ultimate sacrifice and that's the risk we take at the end of the day. But the thing is, was him always having a smile on his face. No matter what the day was like, it was that smile on his face and that just a bit of a glow on his face, I think that helped get us through the day. This Who Is episode is part of a new ER24 web series. To see more, subscribe to the ER24 EMS YouTube channel. Like ER24 EMS Pty Limited on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at ER24 EMS. You can also visit our blog. Just search for ER24.info.